what you see is India's polar satellite launch vehicle ready for a historic mission. A mission to rendezvous with Mars. This vehicle in its 25th flight is carrying India's Mars Orbiter mission. And for the very first interview of its kind, Dr. K. Radhakrishnan, Chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, is talking to us right from India's spaceport from the launch pad 1 where the vehicle is ready right behind us with the Mangalyaan satellite in it. Dr. Radhakrishnan, we have the vehicle behind us. The satellite is sitting right on top of us. What are your feelings just now? We are ready for a historic launch. It's a challenging mission, a complex mission. And uh, the ISRO team is now geared up for executing this mission. And in the mission, what are you going to do? There are several objectives you have. First and foremost, India should be able to orbit a spacecraft around Mars. And this is complex in the sense, for the first time, we are moving from Earth's orbit to the orbit of Mars through a long cruise phase around the Sun. It's almost 400 million kilometers away, and the spacecraft has to travel nearly 780 million kilometers. And we should be able to understand its behavior during this long cruise phase, estimate its position when it is at Mars well in advance. Well in advance means nearly 280 days in advance, so that when it leaves the Earth's orbit, we are clear that it is going to be at the designated point near Mars. And then we should be able to reduce the velocity precisely that orbit is captured. The rocket is small, the satellite is small. Your ambitions seem very big. Will we be able to achieve what we are hoping for? PSLV XL is an important contribution from the Indian space community. It's a vehicle proven for its reliability. We had four successful flights of PSLV in this configuration, and we had 23 successful flights of the PSLV series. So that way, we have taken the best bet available with the country for this mission. And the spacecraft has a mass of nearly 1,340 kilogram and it carries nearly 855 kilograms of propellants that is required for us to move from this Earth's orbit. Now, the mission was announced by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh from the ramparts of the Red Fort in his Independence Day speech. How much of national pride is involved with this mission? Certainly it's there. First, it is challenging, complex, and India is putting the first interplanetary probe and that is a significance and that's why the announcement came from the Honorable Prime Minister on the Independence Day from the Red Fort. Have you given it the very best or could you have done something better? India has done the best. The ISRO teams have done their best for this mission. The time available for us was very limited because the D-Day is end of November 2013 and we need to avail that opportunity and we had nearly 15 months for realizing the orbiter spacecraft, the instruments required and these instruments are for meaningful scientific experiments and the PSLV XL vehicle is a tested one but this is a new mission. We have designed a new mission of PSLV XL to meet the injection conditions required for the Mars orbiter spacecraft so that with the minimum energy we should be able to move from Earth's orbit to Mars orbit. India is trying to answer that very big question. Are we alone in the universe? How hopeful are you of finding signatures of life or refuting the presence of methane on Mars? See, one it's of a big question. It's an eternal question which has remained with human beings. True. One of the important uh, objectives of the scientific part of this mission is to see the presence of methane or otherwise. We have an instrument for that purpose. And we also want to see if methane is present. Is it because of geological activity or biological activity? So these two instruments together should be able to give us some information to answer this question. Are you proud of this 450 crore investment which has been made? Or, or, or do you think, like many who say, this is really money down the drain? 
certainly for a scientific exploration of this magnitude and this complexity 450 crores of Indian rupees is in a way cheap and I should say that one this is going to give us information that we are looking for about Mars second one the technological spin-off that the country would get out of this mission for the future satellites that we are going to build for communication or remote sensing that is there plus there is a national pride there is also a spin-off the younger generation of the country are certainly going to be enthused to take a, an occupation in science and technology and these are invaluable you are taking a big risk it's a difficult mission do you get butterflies in your stomach? Are you sleeping well? See, when there is a high risk, we need to be prepared. And the thrust of the entire ISRO team is to look at all those areas where one should look carefully to avert the risk. And preparedness is very high today. Are you happy with the mission so far? So far it has gone well. It has been a satisfying experience for the entire community. So that was Dr. Radhikrishnan telling us that it has been a satisfying experience to work on this mission. It is an exciting mission. It is a mission replete with national pride. If India can reach Mars, it can't be a better gift for the country. With camera person Sukumar at India's spaceport in Sriharikota, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.